What the hell? That is literally come rude. That's on. might that be the noisiest thing I've ever had. What? Oh, come what on. the hell? What the hell? Bad noise. Yes. Man. Hello and welcome to another video and you join us on a glorious day. I'm joined by the world's biggest <laughs> Ben Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what? World's we biggest have, Sorry. We have come to <laughs> Cliff Lakes in Birmingham. We in Birmingham? Birmingham. Yeah, boy. Close Birmingham. to Birmingham. The plan is essentially, I mean, can you even swim? I haven't hit the water in 15 years after an accident. Ben can swim, but his swimming level is very low. I'm, I'd say five to ten. I like to think I'm a reasonable swimmer, but obviously, I mean, they're reasonable elite. is the, 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 like the limit levels. of my abilities. I figured, who can I enlist to help us to take us to the next level swimming-wise? And there's only one guy. Get over here night right now, Ross Edgley. You absolute <laughs> disgusting <laughs> hero of a man. Here he is in all his glory, Ross Edgley. Probably aware by this point, but Ross, can you just quickly enlighten us as to what you are about to embark on? We are looking at attempting the world's longest lake swim basically 160 kilometers it could be 48 hours oh it, it, it could be God. 72 because because the thing is as well we're doing 72 it. hours so just look, sorry did that, that, <laughs> let's get over that <laughs> he's potentially <laughs> going to be swimming continuously oh for 72 hours like three days yeah three nights right. yeah non-stop swimming in a lake by himself yeah is the plan but also as well because we're doing it in loch ness so there's kind of like what the hell man <laughs> <laughs> what the so there's kind of so there's like there's sleep deprivation there's there's high Hypothermia, oh so the, there's, a, there's a few things. Yeah, <laughs> genuinely, in my opinion, Ross is the biggest psychopath. Outside of like literal serial killers, <laughs> the biggest psychopath on the planet, 100%. He's got a very high tolerance for suffering. Yeah, yeah. To like yeah. and he's got a weird gimp mask, which is something you may think about. <laughs> that is, anyway, that, that is some context. anyway <laughs> without further ado, we need to get ready. Let's get things underway. <laughs> Yeah, that looked good. Ah, I'm gonna drown, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna drown. <laughs> what is he doing? Ross, you happy with this? 25? Ross! <laughs> what are you doing with the sign? This is a 25 meter mark, mate. Yeah. Good. Ah! Okay. <laughs> right, forehead, forehead's looking good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What, what is that, mate? You're like, like a 1920s pilot. Aviator. Been, been attacked by a. Wow! <laughs> 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 Penis shot. To begin with, I, I just I think I just need to see what raw materials we're working with. Do you want to do some raw materials? Yeah. Show some raw materials. Mate. <laughs> oh! Give the little taster of what you can expect. <laughs> There's a lot of duck <laughs> by the way, all over it. It's good. I'm not sure how it's going to help. But it was, it was, I, mean, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Yeah. 50 meters, the entire pontoon. What do I think? Nice 25, dive, backflip. Whatever takes your fancy, <laughs> but, but also this is the thing. I think with swimming, some people it gets overcomplicated. It's just buoyancy plus propulsion. So however your body expresses itself to that 25 meter mark, I'll time it. We'll go from there. That's the that's the benchmark. So you see what we have with zero input from Ross. Where we are, our, our base level swimming, and then we can only go up from there in theory. Yeah. Imagine if we get <laughs> imagine if ben, ben just gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, I'm already quite tired by the way. <laughs> so yeah, the back flip and the climbing out. I'm pretty gassed. Oh. Sorry, say that again. I just got it on camera. Say that again. You're confident what? <laughs> I was just asking. Is it, how are we going to track them? I'll just walk. He goes, will they go that slow? I'm like, probably. <laughs> I'm actually intrigued. Like, I've seen Ben swim, but never in any kind of like serious oh, setting. Oh, What's gonna have to do me? Who knows? Territory. Take your marks. Go. I don't think anyone expected that. <laughs> Oh, I'm done. I'm gassed. <laughs> I mean, but that's what I mean about like just you can just like he's a Ben's a very powerful guy. You thought you can just brute that? That right? is ever yeah. I mean that is. Uh, I have no context, but I think. Uh, what you, like, yeah, what are you saying? I, I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> 
What's amazing is I just think, and I always knew this with you guys, you've got so much athletic potential. The thing with swimming, when people say, oh, I'm not very fit at swimming, it's like, yeah. no, it's just hydrodynamics. Yeah. That's amazing. Once we actually get you moving in like a right. swimmer with the laws of like hydrodynamics, it's going to be immense. Wait, I've got oh, high hopes. Oh. High hopes. Take your mark. Go. <laughs> I just swam into the wall, I think. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> right, so. Okay. So I'll talk you through it. I dived in. I dived in. The goggles immediately came off. So I was blind. And then I, I had no idea where I was. So I was just hoping I was swimming in a straight line. And then I head by the massive edge of the pond. Oh. It felt yeah. good to that point, man. Yeah, okay, Matt's time's still running. <laughs> You're the first person I've ever coached you. I'm thinking we might need a crash helmet. <laughs> I, I was hoping I was already past it by that point. So I thought I'd just go a little bit more than I thought I had to. Yeah. But I actually didn't even make it to yeah, the mark on my head. Right. I literally head by the thing. Yeah, you got a little bit in between your eyes. <laughs> so far, so good. For instance, just so you understand, in like long distance ultra swimming, <laughs> Your leg kick can account for like 10% of overall propulsion. It's, it's right. that small. So looking at that, your legs are just going nuts like a turbine, <laughs> but it's not worth the energy cost. That's why you were both absolutely gasped when you got out. Yeah. Nothing to do with fitness, nothing to do I with mean, fitness. It is probably a lot of fitness. <laughs> at least a little bit. <laughs> how to swim, how to actually swim 101. <laughs> Featuring Ross Ashley. Like a, we both, like we both have our strengths, so <laughs> in a way. You got bird <laughs> but actually, no I haven't. We're here, for God's sake. <laughs> it's literally everywhere, it's unavoidable. Just to add at this point, right, Ross did a 15k swim this morning. Yeah, he did. So we got up at like eight. I messaged Ross, was like, Ross, we're downstairs, where are you? He's like, just finishing a 15k swim. Yeah. Main feedback, uh, don't use your head and headbutt the pontoon. That is Check. a big one. <laughs> <laughs> the I think your head's <laughs> swelling up. And I just want you to do 25 now and, and what success will look like. If you get out and you're not going, oh, Ross, I'm, I'm gassed, that is success. So the legs, all you need to do is 10% overall propulsion. So it's not, all they need to do is just kick on the surface. That's all. Yeah, I did feel less knackered. Yeah, yeah, but they were still going too quick. Yeah. Like, take it off again, take it down a notch. Better, right, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't looking, I was trying to do my goggles. Yeah. <laughs> How does that feel? <sighs> less, slightly less knackering. It felt less like a sprint there, but yeah, yeah. I think I still was kicking too much, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? I'm gonna sack my goggles off. Yeah, I'll show you how you both swim, yeah. and then I'll show you a slight tweak we're gonna make. Notice how little we kick the legs and the catch up good. so much more efficient as well, isn't it? But do you actually understand what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, because I think it's exactly that, yeah. Like, obviously, the whole point of a stroke is to generate momentum. If you just do the next stroke before you've had a chance to even utilize that, yeah, obviously it's just completely expending energy for no reason, right? Then pull, then pull, yeah. then pull. Yeah. What you're doing? So when you see swimmers, that they, they dive in and just hold that thing, and I'm always like, what? Like, why, why are yeah. you not? It's that exact thing, Belts right? is a great example. His underwater offer is insane. Like, just, just it's amazing, because he understands hydrodynamics. He's like, yeah. what? why, as an energy cost, come up and start pinging it when I can travel just as fast underwater? Okay, so as this comes in, then that goes. Yeah. That's and, the trigger. And less left. Right, right. 
It just goes against everything. I don't know. When I when I jump in the water, I just instinctively want to swim fast. It's like in, in my head, I feel like kicking yeah. the main propulsion. The like it's point. not at all. Your legs literally do nothing. Pretty much. But way like more sustainable. Yes. <laughs> it was, sorry. <laughs> what happened there? What? I think I swallowed some bird. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking for someone that's gonna throw up, you won't find a more a better a safer bet than Ben. Oh, I'll get my second win now though. <laughs> 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 Turn around quickly. What? <laughs> absolutely <laughs> laced. Absolutely laced. Am I on this one? No, you're clean. Wait, what have you been doing? How I guess, have you I, sat, I, guess I sat on the side. Okay. okay, Ross, what's going down? If I can be honest with you, I, I mean, I've, I've never, <laughs> I've never coached <laughs> two people who, in such a short space of time, have managed to headbutt the side of the pool <laughs> repeatedly <laughs> and I in just. Up. And in just bird poo. Impressive um, in a way. It's it's mean. Ben has eaten bird. <laughs> Which ultimately it leaves me quite conflicted because I think as 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 a coach, I almost feel I have a moral obligation to say, look, we have so much to work on. I don't want to encourage a race because that's it just it's bad habits. But I know that you have brotherly kind of rivalries. I'm just gonna rip up the rule book because love that technical I, limitations yeah I, <laughs> and uh, i just don't think the rules uh, really apply to you guys poor <laughs> advice for like swimming quickly based on what you've seen thus far you have kind of two choices do you increase the force of propulsion yeah. to how much you're pulling through the water or do you improve your cadence and arm strokes your stroke rate yeah or both Exactly, <laughs> but what you guys have on your side is just this raw power. Less, less claw-like? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is... <laughs> got it. I love how you claw. just got it. You just got it. Got it, Ross. Like this. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Ross explains anything. He's like, yeah, yeah, really good, really good. And then Matt does it. He's like, right, that's the complete opposite. <laughs> I think we do. 25, 50, and then... Yeah, that's a good shot. We'll have a decider. A I mean, who'll win, me or Ben, 25 meter swim? What do you think? Ben, because you'll head by the side. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Matt's not going to make it. We'll I see. <laughs>there. I don't know. It's so good to watch. It's a spectator sport. In my periphery, I could just see like white. <laughs> yeah. I knew you were around me, but I was like, I think, think I knew you were ahead because I could like see it slightly ahead of my periphery. That's a low for me to be honest. <laughs> ben has got Ben. He's got better <laughs> swimming technique than me. But interestingly, I think that now sets up what is going to be an incredible championship because I think Ben's maybe the better sprinter. If we start extending this to 50 meters, yeah, 100 meters, and then a 1K oh, okay. race, no, I'll be no, interested no. to see who comes out on top. So right now, that's one nil Ben with more races to come. Just quickly interrupting this video to let you know about the latest update to the Morsia app. The world's leading fitness app just got better. This is our new progress tab. Now, anyone that goes to the gym knows, or if you don't know, you should know, unless you are tracking your progress, so your performance, your PBs in the gym, you're basically wasting your time. The only way to make sustained progress over time, whether that be losing fat or building muscle or getting stronger, is to track your progress. And our new progress tab makes it so much easier to do that. So the tab itself is split into to two parts. So you have your training, so that's your performance in the gym, your PBs, your sets, your reps, and then you have your personal, so that being your physique and your body weight check-in. Now, if we start at training first, you can pick any exercise and you can track your performance on that exercise over the course of the last year. And what's really cool is you can pick two additional exercises, so three lifts in total, and compare your progress on those three lifts again over the last year. Now, if I just keep it simple and go for my squat, bench, and deadlift, I can see here, for example, 
example, my bench press is starting to plateau. So that means maybe I wanna focus on that lift more. And in case that's not enough, I can go into even more detail and click on an individual lift and then see my PB for every single rep range I've ever hit on that lift. Now, if we move across to personal, I can see all of my check-ins, so my physique over the course of the last year. I can see, you know, if I'm losing fat, if I'm gaining fat, if I'm building muscle. I can also see my body weight progression, again, in a super easy to view graph. In this case, you can see it's very stable over the last year. So if, again, I was trying to diet, I was trying to lose weight, that graph would be an indication to me that I need to ramp things up a little bit, you know, get a little bit more aggressive, drop my calories, maybe increase my cardio to make sure I hit those goals. And finally, we show you the total number of workouts you've hit, reps and sets you've completed, and kilograms you've ever lifted on the Morsi app, which coupled with everything else, makes it literally impossible for you not to make progress. In fact, I'll promise you now, right, if you join the Morsi app, if you use the progress tab, you complete your workouts, and in a few months' time, you have not made any progress, I will personally drive to your house and give you one-on-one -on -one training sessions until you do, because it's not gonna happen. And we are so confident in this fact that if you use the top link in the description, we will give you a free seven-day trial. So you can use the entire app completely free for one week and see what all the fuss is about. So top link in the description, come and join the team. Let's get back to the video. So I'm watching it back now, right? I'm literally swimming into the lane road the whole time. <laughs> Why am I doing that? It's hard work being great, isn't it? May I'm I don't even know, I don't even know what I'm throwing up. Greatness. <laughs> yeah, innit? Victory. What's kind of happening, what's becoming very apparent is we have a, a sprint specialist in our midst right here in the form of Ben Morsia. But equally, over here to my left, Matt is he's kind of developing his own technique. He's a more, he just makes this technique work for him and, and for the longer for distances. Him. Yeah. So, I mean, straight away, if I can just not swim into the f lane boat, <laughs> that would probably be helpful, to be honest. But now what's interesting, that was raw power. Pacing's gonna come in, technique. Now we're going 50 meters. Oh, I can't call this one. No. I think this is gonna be the deciding one, if I'm honest. It's one little Ben, I have to win this. Yeah, if Ben exactly. wins this, yeah. I'm out, it's done. I literally have to just go balls out on this one. This, this is life is... or death right here. Where do we think this is going? Gonna be completely honest. Absolutely no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, don't know if they're gonna come out of the water with no casualties. <laughs> Quite frankly, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. If, oh, if I was a betting man. I mean, you originally said bet, originally. Matt's improved a little bit. Ooh. I think it's gonna be close. This is it, my final prediction. Ben's got better technique and is less accident prone. <laughs> I think Matt wants it. Like I genuinely don't know. We need to go to a photo. <laughs> oh, Matt, what have you done to yourself? I really wanted to win. Do you know what I did? Like two thirds of the way through, I did a big breath, but my head was still half under the water. I just swallowed a huge thing of water. <laughs> I really need to see. I need to see who won really bad. Oh my god. See, if Matt's the touching there, the underhand is if there. Matt is touching this hand there. was the secondary hand. So the one you're seeing out of the water, I'm already on the edge. Look at my head, mate. Oh no, 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 wait, wait, I can see Matt's hand touching. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, just one frame later, and Ben Woo! touches it. It really does make a 500 really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted just watching. This is it's my head back. I can't see it's my not head. bad. No, it's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it looks good for the for the thing. <laughs> That was immense. And um, I think now, one thing I've, I've quickly realized is I think an element of competition makes you two a little bit better. So what I'm proposing is we graduate from the pontoon, leave that behind now, graduate into the big boy pool. I'm looking, it's a 500 meter. That's 10 times the distance we just did, by the way. <laughs> so it's 500 meters from this pontoon back to where we were. This is the decider in many ways. So this will decide who is the superior Morsia. But to add an element of competition, I think what would be really cool is if I chase you down. 
<laughs> so I'll, I'll basically be giving you guys a head start and almost kind of like a shark knowing it's yeah. coming to nip at your heels. I think that will encourage you and what we're going to probably produce is um, well, personal bests, quite frankly. Just that's I, the goal. Yeah. Records. Anything. If I, if I make it back, that's a personal best. Records. Turn around. See how far. Come on, turn around. What, what? Look how far out you are. What? Turn around, look how far out you are. <laughs> ben, have a look. Ben, 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 have a look. Ben, have a look how far away the thing is. <laughs> Just have a look quick, quick, quick. Have a look where it is. <laughs> <laughs> what are we expecting <laughs> to happen? Here? Just on a side note, my eye, I feel like my eye's slowly closing, yeah, and I'm pretty sure I have some kind of concussion because I've got a headache and oh my vision's not ideal right now. What better thing to do now is just jump in a lake and swim 500 meters. The main thing is, I feel bad, but like I like Ben for these challenges because it makes me feel better. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, well, at least I'm not as bad as Ben. Like, <laughs> I'm not as gassed as Ben. Is this? Oh god! <laughs> I was hoping the boat was just gonna keep going. <laughs> Do I have like some sort of Morsia life insurance policy, Matt? <laughs> Daniel, you seem to be re returning to a semblance of normality. Well, I feel slightly further away from the brink of death. <laughs> but like, I don't, I don't know how far I can swim. <laughs> but this is it, it's 1-1 one, one in the Morsia swim challenge, so this is the decider. Like, first person to get back to that pontoon yeah, takes I really, it. I really went all in on that last sprint. She did. Yeah, yeah. But then we have the added element of... Of the fucking... Absolute of jaws. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mosasaurus just absolutely gunning us down. <laughs> They're so quiet. I've never heard them this quiet no, before. <laughs> this is where legends are made. People will talk about this in Cliff Lakes for years to come. It'll be almost like on the grapevine, you know, mm. like in folklore. Yeah. People will be like, oh my God, did you ever see the when the Morsias came down? And only one returned to shore. Yes! That was yeah. In three, two, one, go! I just want to touch the boy. Go on then. Yeah, there you go, Ben. Nice. <coughs> just have a breathe. Catch your breath for a minute. <coughs> good. Fair play, my brother. Come on. Uh, yeah, it was good, man. Thanks. <sighs> swimming session I've ever done, ever, hands down. If you were to summarize the session though, in one concise headline, I think it would be like a 2-1. <laughs> <two, one. laughs> I would classify that as a near death experience, to be honest. That was it. <laughs> Did you hear that shriek? <laughs> Never had a session like that. What did you do when you got out? Were you like, Panic, were you okay? Were you like panicking? What, what happened? Well, so I got within range of the boy and I was like, I don't have anything left, but I'm this close to the boy. So I was like, my options are push into that like realm of, yeah. I'll need to grab the boat as soon as I touch the boy. Like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Surprisingly so. <laughs> what I take away from this is that I don't, I hate, I don't ever want to swim in like a confined lane 
environment. Yeah, and it I feel like... much, much better. Like I've literally taken an absolute I think pounding. If you get a side profile of Max's head, so you can see it's like bulbous lump. <laughs> like I've head, but I've literally head butted the side about five times today. <laughs> Still the only person I've ever swung with who <laughs> probably needs a crash out of it. Ross has got a gimp mask and it's the most disturbing. <laughs> it's the, literally the stuff of nightmares, mate. <laughs> okay, I think that's a good I think Ross's gimp mask is a good note to end on. Uh, <laughs> you are literally about to behead someone. Like, this looks that's so fucking mental. So like, that's like official, this is official Gymshark gear. When you got swimming What's at one, but for? an execution at two. <laughs> oh, okay, we're done. Ross, it's been absolutely wonderful, mate. Appreciate yeah, it so much, dude. That was sick. Oh, gosh. That was a f***ing grueling experience, but... I'm great effort, mate. <laughs> okay, video's done. Oh man. I'm a broken man. Yeah, yeah. Physically yeah. and emotionally. But you're the winner. Um, <laughs> but I'm the winner. <laughs> Who gives a f mate? What a <laughs> glorious time to be alive. That was amazing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Any suggestions, future videos along those lines, let us know in the comment section. I'll put a link to Ross's channel in the description. If for some reason you've not you know, gone and checked out his stuff. Go and Literally do it now. He's might be the sickest person yeah, in the world. Yeah, could genuinely be. He's definitely a contender, if not the just maddest human on the planet. So honestly, go and follow him. He's a wonderful guy. Obviously, the bats do embark on the maddest swim, well, just thing anyone, any human's ever done. So go into that. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like I'm slowly acclimatizing yeah. to being what? in the water. <laughs> <laughs> what the f? <laughs> 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 <laughs>